We are now going to show you how to set up and make use of our new mobile application from the Apple iPhone. The first step would be to open up your browser, Safari, and what you'll want to do is navigate to our front website, which is virtualfleetsupervisor.com. You can see it in the address bar here. So we'll just enter virtualfleetsupervisor.com. As you can see, it pulls up as an option. So we'll just click on that and load the screen. Now normally from a regular computer this would actually load our full website but in this case because it recognizes that you're logging on from a mobile device it gives you two buttons and two options. First one would be to visit the full website the second would be to log in to the mobile application that's what we're going to do here. Now once we log in and I've got my password saved in another window so we'll just navigate over there the next step would be to sign in. You're going to sign in with your regular username and password as you would from a regular desktop computer. Once we sign in, you're going to have a few options. By the way, prior to signing in, one of the things I want to uh, point out is that people are very accustomed to downloading apps from the Apple iTunes Store. Uh, in this case, we have something that would be very similar in fashion. What you're able to do is click on the button at the bottom of the screen that allows you to add a bookmark. And we can add this bookmark to the home screen. So we'll click on Add to Home Screen. And in this case, we'll just call it VFS. You can obviously call it whichever you would prefer. We'll give it a name. We'll click Add. And then you'll notice that on your home screen now, the icon appears. In, in many ways, in many respects, it is very similar to having now an app on your home screen, even though you don't have to download this from the iTunes store. So you can pull up this link at any time, and as you can see, what this will do is give you the uh, screen to log in from. So here we are. When you first log in, there are two options. One would be to view the current locations of your vehicles. The other option would be to view the stops that those vehicles have made over the past 24 hours. So let's click on the current locations and start with that. Now, this will show us for all the vehicles, uh, or this will give us three options. We can view all to see all of the vehicles. We can click groups to view them by group, or we can do a search for an individual vehicle. In this case, we're going to click view all so that we can go and look at each of our vehicles. As we scroll down, you'll see that we have one group named sales, one group named service, and then there's another one named supervisor, but there's no devices in that group. What we're able to do if uh, we want to view all of our vehicles from a very high level is we can view on map, and this will allow us to, once we click on that button, to view all the vehicles on one screen. This will just give you a, uh, a general location, a sense for how your vehicles are dispersed around the area. This will place all of them in one location, but if you'll notice, a and B are in very similar location to each other, so you really can't see uh, one. It's, it's almost on top of the other. But if we want to go back and look at an individual vehicle, we'll go back and you'll see all of your vehicles here. And let's say we want to click on Rachel Reynolds or look at her vehicle location. Now we have the ability to see just her vehicle on a map. Furthermore, we'll see how long she's been stopped for, the current address, and we can zoom in and zoom out. In this case, we'll just click zoom in and now it will pull in closer to her location. If you prefer, you can even continue to do so to see this actual location on a map. As you can tell, it's zooming in. Now what you'll also notice is, is that as we click back, we have another option in terms of information that we want to view. Uh, and that is, as I mentioned prior, the stops report. So we'll click on that button. You'll see that it similarly gives you an option to view all of your devices, put them in groups, or search. And in this case, we're going to view them by group. So let's say we wanted to just look at a particular group, or let's say because of our permission levels, we only had access to certain vehicles. In this case, uh, we would only see those groups, and so we'll click on sales. Now you'll notice that we have two vehicles. So we already looked at Rachel Reynolds. This time we'll look at Dan Dempsey. Once again, you have the option, if you prefer, of not only seeing the location and how long each of these vehicles were stopped, but more importantly, if you want to see visually where they were on a map, 
you can click on the link for the location and this will then show you the location of that stop on a map. As we uh, had previously mentioned with the current location of your vehicles, if you want to zoom in, just click your buttons there. This will allow you to drill down and see a better view of exactly where that vehicle is located. This concludes uh, the overview and how to set up our new mobile application on an Apple iPhone.